Horizon League Basketball reveals its preseason rankings. And football hosts North Dakota State. All that and more coming up on the Penguin Rundown. Welcome to another week of the Penguin Rundown. I'm Corey McRae, joined alongside with Christina Sainovich. Christina, big game this week under the lights at Stanball, North Dakota State, YSU. Big matchup between two top 10 teams. I'm excited to see what happens. I'm excited as well, but first we have some volleyball to talk about. Last Friday, the volleyball team hosted Cleveland State but fell in three sets. The first set featured 12 ties and six lead changes. Sam Brown had her best match in conference play while posting 11 kills and 13 points for YSU. She also had just one error in 27 attempts. Sam also leads the team in aces with 26 on the season. The women then traveled to Oakland on Sunday where they lost in three sets. The Gwens were in action yesterday against Wright State. For scores and stats, check out YSUsports.com. This weekend, the team travels to Milwaukee to take on the Panthers Saturday at 5 p.m. The men's basketball team finds itself ranked 7th in the Horizon League's preseason rankings. Cam Morris highlights the preseason All-Horizon League first team for the second straight year. The senior led the conference in scoring with 23.2 points per game against league opponents last year. In addition, Morris ranked 9th in the nation, averaging 22.9 points per game a year ago. The team's first contest comes against Kent State on November 11th. The women's team ranks 8th um, among amongst conference opponents in the Horizon League preseason standings. YSU returns six players that have averaged 10 points or more per game at the Division I level. Among those players, Horizon League Freshman of the Year Mary Dunn, as well as India Benjamin, who has led the league in assists the past two seasons, returns for the Penguins. Junior Allison Smolinski, who led the league in three-pointers, made with 85, is also back. The women will tip off their season November 10th at Pittsburgh. This past weekend, the women's soccer team hosted the co-leaders of the Horizon League standings, the IUPUI Jaguars. Two first-half goals for the Jaguars would be the difference as they would come out on top by a final score of 2-0. The Gwens record now sits at 4-9-1 and, and will look to rebound this Saturday on their home turf as they host the UIC Flames. For live stats, be sure to check out YSUSports.com, and you can also watch on the Watch ESPN app. Kickoff is slated for 2 p.m. Both golf teams were on the road earlier this week. The women took a trip up to Eastern Michigan University for the Shirley Spork EMU Invitational. The team finished with a three-round total of 998, with Courtney Shutt leading the team, finishing 12th individually. The women will now look to improve for their spring season beginning in February. On the men's side, they traveled to the Health Plan Mountaineer Invitational in Bridgeport, West Virginia. The team had a three-round total of 928. Leading the way was freshman C.J. Hughes, who finished with a total of 226. The team will finish their fall season on October 16th and 17th with a Detroit Titan Motown Collegiate in Highland, Michigan. The football team packed up and flew to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, where they take on the number six ranked South Dakota Coyotes. Running back Tevin McCaster had 22 carries for 90 yards and four touchdowns, while quarterback Nathan Mays was 12 of 25 passing on the day. It was a hard-fought battle, but the Coyotes' last-second field goal gave them the upset win over Youngstown State. The Penguins will return home this weekend to host the heavyweight North Dakota State Bison. The team asked that the Ice Castle be packed for this game, so be sure to head down to Stanball Stadium for the 7 o'clock kickoff. North Dakota State comes into the game second in the nation and number one in the Missouri Valley Football Conference. A win this Saturday will place the Penguins right back into the top five and in talks for share of the conference title. Tickets are going rapidly, so be sure to call the ticket office at 330-941-1YSU. If you can't make it, be sure to tune in to 570 WKBN or the Watch ESPN app. This past weekend, the cross-country team participated in the Disney World Classic. For the women, senior Michelle Klim took the second place in the 5K race with a time of 18 minutes and 28.5 seconds. The women's team took an overall third place. Tyler Pullman placed 13th in the 8K race. Pullman ran, ran a time of 27 minutes and 1.6 seconds. The men also placed overall third. The team will race for the win at the Canisius Alumni Open on October 14th. The bowling team started it off their season with a strike as they ranked 24th in the NTCA preseason poll with 75 points. 
The Gwens ended their season last year ranked 25th with 38 points. The team also welcomes back their top seven bowlers from last year, including Rachel Darrow, who averaged a team-high 190 and led the crew with 19 games over 200. Also returning, Alex Grimm, who last year averaged 186.97, had the highest game last year, 258. The Gwens will begin their season at Sinking Springs, PA. The two-day Bud Whitman Memorial Tournament will begin at 11 a.m. on October 14th. And that'll do it for us here at the Penguin Rundown. For news, highlights, and more, check out YSUSports.com. And be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook at Penguin Rundown 1. I'm Corey McRae. And I'm Christina Sainovich. Have a great week, Youngstown.